guys, it's Jamie from Yarny Box, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a market vlog for all the markets that I had in May. I had four markets in May back to back within two weeks, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what it was like to prep for them, what it's like to set up for them, and what it was like selling at them. If you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. So let's get into it. Just about to get ready to leave for my very first market of May. It's the Inglewood Night Market in Calgary and it's my first outdoor market of the year and my first night market. And an outdoor night market is my absolute favorite type of market to do. It's a really big street festival. There's tons of vendors, there's beer gardens and live music and food trucks. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm bringing to the market. All right, so this is all the stuff that I'm bringing to the market. So I've got my push-up tent here. I've got my camping chair and a tent wall. I've got all my crochet kits that I'm bringing. I've got two full garbage bags full of plushies plus this bin full of plushies. Then I'm bringing a sweater and pants in case I get cold because I live in the coldest climate on the planet. And then I've got my wooden crates, a little shelving display thing that I use, some bucket for display, and then this basket is all my like market supplies. So I've got signage and bags and stuff like that in there. And then I've got my uh, pop-up banner. So I'm going to load up my van and then I will see you at the market. This is my first outdoor market with all my new branding and all my new stuff. So you can see I've got some buckets on the ground. I've got my big retractable banner up and I've got a bunch of crochet kits on the table. Here's a before and after. So it's the next day. It is the day after the Inglewood market and I cannot believe how busy it was. It was, I think, probably the busiest summer market I've done in Calgary aside for the exception of one, which is Calgary's biggest outdoor street festival. And that street festival holds, I think, like 100,000 people. So it was really, really, really busy. I am so happy with it. I was not sure how it's going to go. I did the same market last summer. And it was okay. Like, I really, really like the organizers and I really like the whole vibe of the market. So I signed up for again this year. I don't know what the organizers did, but they freaking killed it with the organizing and with the advertising. It was crazy. When I said in my last video about plushies I'm bringing to this market, I said um, that hopefully that stock was going to last me all through May. I was dead wrong. It is not lasting me at all. I pretty much sold out of everything that was under $30 and I sold a ton of stuff that was between like $35 and $50. So I am struggling <laughs> to market prep today. I have a market tomorrow and uh, so I'm going to try to stock up on as much stuff as I can. I'm currently just making some little bees. I've got the little chonkers and then just like regular bees on the go right now. I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys for a second. So I honestly, it was so busy. I didn't have time to take any videos or pictures of the market. All I did was I took a video of my booth set up at the very beginning of the market. Then I never had time to go walk around and take videos or anything because I wanted to show you guys what the whole vibe of this market was like in case you were curious. The street kind of goes this way and then it goes across this way and then it goes down this way and in the long section that's straight it has uh, beer gardens and live music and food trucks so it's it's got a really nice vibe and it's at nighttime so when it gets dark everyone's got their twinkle lights on it so I really like this market there was probably like 150 vendors I would guess and probably like 10 food trucks and then maybe like three beer people uh, in the beer garden so it was pretty big and it was awesome normally if i'm doing a really big outdoor market i try to bring my husband with me to help me unload and then while i'm unloading and setting up he can go drive the van and park elsewhere and then come back and meet me to help set up so unfortunately he wasn't able to join me yesterday but uh, i definitely could have used the help of a second person that's for sure 
So I'm just in the car headed off to the Sunday's Market, which is a Mother's Day market. It's going from 10 till 4 in a small town just outside of the city that I live in. And it's a beautiful day, so I'm hoping that it's going to be super busy and I will see you when I'm there. For this market, it was half indoor and half outdoor. I paid for an eight foot table space, so I actually put two four foot tables beside each other. You can see my booth is a little bit emptier than it was last night, but still pretty full. And this is just everyone else setting up as well. So it's been a few days since my last market. My last market was Sunday and it's now Thursday. The market went pretty well. Um, I was happy with it. I made about six times my booth fee, so I can't really complain. Uh, it was really, really windy that day, unfortunately. It was a half indoor market and half outdoor market. So I was indoors, thankfully I was lucky, but unfortunately a lot of the outdoor vendors had a lot of trouble that day. But thankfully I was inside, so overall it was a good market. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing this week. For the past four days I've pretty much been doing absolutely nothing except for market prep. So I managed to make a lot more mushrooms. I've got a few little mini guys and I'm planning on making a bunch more of these tonight. Hopefully I'll have time to do that. And then I also have three mushy guys. These guys are just my absolute favorite. They are so freaking cute. And then I've got a bin full of octos. So I managed to replenish my octopus, which I'm super happy about. I need to put eyes on this one still. And then um, I almost sold out of bees, but I made some a few ducks. And I have four bees left over from Sunday. And I think I brought... Uh, 18 bees on Sunday so I've got four left so I'm gonna have to make some more bees tonight. I've got some shroomies. This is my bubble buddy pattern and I've got a few more of them that I've made and then I've got the mushy guy as well and then I decided to make a bunch of frogs for this weekend. I found this yarn at Walmart and I just thought it would make the cutest little frogs so I made a bunch of frogs also have a few of my dinosaur bobble buddies. Got one in blue and pink. And then pink and green. Got some pink frogs, some green frogs. And then I made a bunch of jellyfish too. Managed to replenish all my little guys that I sell for under $30. Um, if you watched my what I'm bringing to my May markets, I was like, I'm sure these will last me all of May, but I was so, so, so wrong. Um, not mad about it, but I definitely had to restock pretty much everything that was under $30. So that's what I've been doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my night market, which is on Friday night. It's from 4 till 10 and it's in a really nice community. It's an outdoor market. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the setup. This market was a little bit funny. I was supposed to be a six foot table inside, but there was actually a fire at this community center, so they stuck me outside, but I didn't have a tent, so it was just my table, so it was a little bit weird, but it still worked out, it was just fine. So this is what my table looked like. I was able to stock up on all the bees and the frogs. This market again was pretty big, and I think there was probably about 70 vendors here. Good morning everybody, it's about 7.45 a.m. and I am on my way to my last market of May and it's been a whirlwind. It is about a 45 minute drive from where I live so I am up nice and early on my way. Last night was absolutely insane. I got home around 11 p.m. and it was again a crazy 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 busy market. I pretty much sold out of everything that was under $50, so I'm probably going to struggle a little bit today. I do have some $5 keychains at least, but uh, today hopefully is going to be another really good day, and I will see you guys when I am setting up. This is one of my favorite markets ever. It's in the mountains, and it's like an outdoor farmer's market, but it's catered to more artisan vendors. So my table's looking pretty sparse. I've only got my bigger items left and then I put some $5 keychains here as well. 
and I managed to do pretty good at this market despite only having larger items and then I also put a clearance bin for winter hats down there as well. of how all my markets went as a collective in May. So they did go really, really well, way better than I ever expected them to go. As I've said before, I've done over 100 markets selling crochet plushies, and this was definitely my craziest month aside from Christmas markets. Spring and summer markets are always kind of a hit or miss because there's not a lot of people buying in the spring and summertime. So I was really surprised at how busy all the markets were, the turnout, how many people were buying. It was really, really, really awesome. So kudos to all the market organizers because they did an amazing job organizing and advertising for these markets. As you could see in the vlog, I did restock my items that were under $30 twice. I did it after the first market and then in between the two weekends that I had markets. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have left from everything. But just keep in mind that I did restock my bees, my mushrooms, and my frogs twice. So I do have both of the large jellyfish, which is no surprise to me. These guys are both a really high price tag. They are by far my biggest items in my booth, but I like to lug them around because they grab a lot of attention. So I've got both of them left. And out of all the unicorns that I brought, I've got two left. They are both the Katie Did style unicorns. And I am surprised that um, this one never sold because everybody picked her up and they loved the rainbow hair, but she didn't sell. I've got one mushy guy left, just one little jellyfish, got one iguana left. Again, sadly, I do have this purple and pink crab left. I've been carrying her around for about two years and I don't know why nobody wants her, but uh, yeah, I've still got her. So maybe in June she'll sell, but I guess we'll see. I think I'm gonna try to make maybe two or three more crabs and have them all kind of together in a bucket. Things that don't sell well usually sell better if there's more than a couple options. So um, I'm gonna make a red and blue and maybe like an orange crab and then see how she does. Maybe she'll sell then. For dinosaurs, I've got three left from the Hannah Gurumi pattern pack. So I've got my pterodactyl, I've got the Apatosaurus, which is the long neck guy. This is actually the same dinosaur as Littlefoot in the Land Before Time movies and I love him. The thick skulled one, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this name, but yeah, I've got three dinosaurs left from that. And that's it. That's everything. That's the only thing that I have left, which is not very much at all. I don't have anything left that is under $55 except for the jellyfish. So I am honestly really surprised that I have almost no stock left. My next market is June 4th and it is Calgary's biggest street festival. So uh, I'm going to be crocheting like an absolute mad woman for the next two weeks. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, I will film another market vlog style for that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.